This is the homework for 437, 438, and 441. In problem 437, you need to invent a tile pattern that fits the data from this table. For your tile pattern, most likely it will be different than mine. But what you want to understand is your initial value, figure zero, what you start with, figure zero, is going to have five tiles. And from there, you can see that you're adding four tiles for every figure number. So it's going to increase by four. And you can see here's my four that I've increased by four tiles for each figure number. And figure two has four additional tiles from the previous one. Here in red is figure one with four additional. And from figure two to figure three, I have four additional tiles. So it's increasing by four tiles for every figure number. In part B, you need to show how the pattern is growing in the XY table. And you can see, again, it's increasing by four for every figure number. In part C, you're going to write the equation. And you've learned the form of y equals mx plus b. M is the rate of change, how much is it growing by for each figure number, and B is your initial value. What did you start with? That's also known as the y-intercept. And for figure zero, that's what we started with. We had five tiles. There's our initial value, what we started with. And its growth rate, it's growing by four tiles for every one figure number. So that's where the four comes in. So y equals 4x plus 5. In 438, you need to figure out how many tiles are in figure 0. Well, the x-axis represents the figure numbers. The y-axis represents the number of tiles. So for figure 0, it has 7 tiles. Figure 1 here's figure one on the x-axis, has nine tiles. So then we were to find the growth pattern of this graph. And you can see that it's growing, the number of tiles is growing by two for every one figure number. Positive two tiles for each figure number. And it's growing at a constant rate, which gives you that step configuration. The one that was given is here, and you see that it's going down negative 2 and over negative 1. Well, negative 2 divided by negative 1 is still positive 2. So it still has the same growth pattern of 2 over 1. The last part was asking for the rule for this. And the rule in y equals mx plus b form, remember b, the b is the y-intercept, the initial value, what you started with, and the m is the growth rate. What is it growing by? And we have two, and you can see that here Here's our B on the y-intercept. On the y-axis, your y-intercept is positive 7, and your growth is 2 over 1. 2 over 1, and the y-intercept, positive 7. In problem 441, you need to explain in words what is done to the input value x to produce the output value y. And then you need to explain the process you use to find the missing input values. 
Well, what I'm doing to x is multiplying x by 3 and then subtracting 2. 3 multiplied by 10 is 30, minus 2 is 28. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4. Now, in order to find the output, I mean the input values, you need to take the output value y and substitute it into your equation. So I used the value of 10 for my output value. So instead of y, it's 10. And now we're going to solve for the input, which is x. So we need to isolate the variable. So we're going to do the inverse property of subtraction, which is addition. So we're going to add 2 to both sides. That creates a zero pair. 10 plus 2 is 12. So now we have 12 equals 3x. Inverse property of multiplication, 3x is 3 times x, is division. We're going to divide both sides by 3 because we want that giant 1 because 1 multiplied by x is x. That's the identity property of multiplication. What you do to one side, you do to the other. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 4 equals x, and your answer is x equals 4. And that's what I have here. Input value, input value is 4, output value is 10.